اهلا بكم مشاهدي اي تاك عبر قناه الحره نحن معكم للاسبوع الثالث على التوالي لمتابعه التغطيه الخاصه والحصريه باي تاك لمعرض سي جراف 2009 المتخصص بتقنيات تصميم الرسومات جرافيكس ديزاين مجموعه جديده من اللقاءات والتقارير بانتظاركم كالعاده نتواصل دائما عبر بريدنا الالكتروني اي تاك ات الحره دوت كوم يمكن مشاهده هذه الحلقه وحلقات اخرى من اي تاك في اي وقت على موقع القناه www.alhurra.com دوت كوم وايضا على يوتيوب دوت كوم سلاش الحره وتابعوا اي تاك شو على فيسبوك وتويتر قبل الدخول الى قاعات المعرض ماذا سنشاهد معنا اليوم من سي جراف 2009 بنيو اورلينز صور تشريح الجسم البشري صور متحركة ثلاثية الأبعاد فورية جديد المؤثرات البصرية تقنية جديدة X3D على الإنترنت تحريك بالنقاط للأجسام المرسومة علم تشريح الجسم البشري أمكن التقاط صور مفيدة لعالم الطب زايكات شركة متخصصة بالصور العلمية الثلاثية الأبعاد أطلقت هنا في سيجراف 2009 بنيو أورلينز إصدار جديد لمجموعة من صور تشريح الجسم ثلاثية الأبعاد يستخدمها القطاع الطبي وقطاع الأفلام السينمائية والتلفزيونية لنتعرف معا على المجموعة الجديدة من زيكات 4.5 We create uh, computer models mainly for the uh, medical industry. We have a collection of anatomy models that we sell um, to the medical industry. Today we've released our anatomy collection 4.5, which has upgrades from the 4.0 collection. Um, some of the stuff that has been upgraded is the uh, skeleton, which we got from an MRI scan. This is our new skull. The new skull has um, a lot of upgrades from our, our old skull in that it has a complete interior where the old skull did not. And this interior includes all of the different foramen, all of the different structures of the inner skull, as well as the, the sinuses of the skull. And this system works with the rest of our anatomy. I could bring in the nervous system and the brain, and it will fit exactly where it's supposed to fit. We can bring in the circulatory system which integrates perfectly with the skeleton and then the muscle system which goes right on top of all of that and then of course lastly the skin which would go on top of that and so all of the systems work together to make a complete uh, collection of human anatomy our clients are basically either in the education um, sector where they're using our models to teach people about anatomy or in the pharmaceutical companies that use our models to show how different uh, techniques work, how different surgeries are done, or different ailments with the body. So those are our two main types of clients. I have a collage of our different, uh, different projects that we've done, everything from um, the connective tissues of the skeleton. Um, we have a heart that we have beating that people have used to show different surgeries, a diagram showing how the heart works. So our models have been used in a, in a variety of different ways to show different anatomy um, procedures or just to teach people about anatomy. We also have a collection of solid models which can be used in um, engineering software um, that you can actually, we have a skeleton that has the properties of bone so you can see how much it takes to break the bone and they use it in different simulations to, uh, for products. Um, the car industry uses our skeleton in some cases to show how a skeleton would be affected by a car crash and it actually would break in the different ways that a real skeleton would. So this will have a, just little clips of all the different people that have used our models. Here at the beginning is the Discovery Channel. They used our models for a show called uh, Pushing the Body to the Limits. This was Sony Pictures for The Hollow Man. Again, the Discovery Channel. This is a company called Jellyfish that used our models for, uh, for a TV series. And this is from a TV show called Fringe. They also used our models for their anatomy shots. 
The best way is to go to 3dscience.com, and there you'll see all of our different products as well as some animations and images that are free that you can use however you want. في فن جرافيكس ديزاين أو تصميم الرسومات هناك تقنية الرسوم المتحركة الثلاثية الأبعاد الفورية Real Time 3D Animation Technology هذا ما قدمته شركة Craft Animations هنا في سي جراف 2009 بنيو أورلينز وذلك من خلال الإصدار الجديد 9.2 لبرنامج Craft Director Studio We're showcasing our new system called Craft Rig Studio version 9.2. Uh, its new features are more or less uh, updated uh, interface uh, that will ease up the, for the user much more than the uh, recent versions. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is uh, just a basic uh, kind of ground uh, mesh, nothing special. And I will show you one of our tools that's called uh, craft four-wheeler extended uh, so I'll just import uh, already rigged model into the scene what the person that wants to do an animation he has his high poly model and uh, in this case it's a car what the user will do is create a four-wheeler ex four extended uh, move it as you can see uh, it's like a low poly mesh type of thingy. So what the user does is he scales it, moves it in uh, the correct position as this, this high poly model uh, over here. So I would move that, scale it up, and then we had the different dummy objects. So for instance, uh, this wheel, I would move uh, to the correct position as, as the high poly wheel, uh, align it, uh, scale it up, so it more or less has the same size. And this is what the rig looks like when, uh, when it's uh, well fitted to that, this high poly model. What the user done, does next is to set up an uh, input device, uh, like this gamepad, for instance. Um, or he can also animate this car by using a motion path. It's also possible. Gas pedal and also the steering. The user clicks record and uses the gamepad to drive around on top of this mesh. So as you can see, the, this car has the suspension and all that fixed for him. When I'm actually doing this controlling of this uh, four-wheeler and uh, doing the animation, uh, the timeline down here it's actually rolling and, and on each frame it creates a keyframe. So the whole of this animation is saved as keyframes. So if I pull back this timeline, it is there. It, uh, you can just log in to uh, www.craftanimations.com. فن الفيجوال افكتس او المؤثرات البصريه هو في صلب تصميم الرسومات جرافيكس ديزاين برامج عديده تبتكر وتطور في هذا المجال منها الاصدار الجديد السادس لفيوجن فيوجن 6 من ايون Well the latest version of Fusion 6 is out so we've been showing a lot of the new features that come along with that I'm going to show a simple shot based on separated image planes, but I'm going to do super sampling, depth of field, and uh, soft clipping. So to begin with, I've created this composition which contains three layers. The first layer and the second layer and the third layer are all just shots of this uh, flowering bush. And what I want is to create a scene with some depth in it as part of a set extension. So what I'm going to do here is I've merged all of them together with a camera. and. If you look here, we've used a, oops, a bender tool to give a little bit of depth to these flat 2D image planes. So if I come into there and I select the bender tool, in my 3D environment of the compositing program, I can adjust and twist that. Now, of course, I've also added a camera, which will help me to fly through the scene. So as I hit play, you can see the camera is 
zooming through the scene. So let's look at it through the camera. And we can see what we've actually got is a shot that it doesn't really have depth. I can still see that this shot has three discrete image planes. And I'm going to use some, some compositing techniques to make it look like it's a, got a little more even depth. So the first one of those techniques is fog. So what I want to do is I want to add a fog so that, as we know, when we look through fog, it accumulates so the further it gets, the denser the fog becomes. And that's what's happening here is we're color correcting the textures of each image plane based on its distance from the camera. And the end result is very fast fog. And that's important because compositors don't have time to wait. Now the second problem that will appear is whenever we have a piece of geometry like this branch here, and it intersects the camera or hits the camera, it pops off. And that's visually distracting. So what I want to do is, when it gets too close to the camera, I want it to fade out so that before it hits the camera, it just disappears. And so we're going to use a soft clip tool to do that. And what the soft clip tool does is it begins the fade out as it reaches too close to the camera. Now we're ready to turn this into a 2D image. So uh, it's nice to be in 3D, but eventually you need to create an image. And so I put it into a renderer tool, and I set the scale of that to 1280 by 720, which is HDTV 720. Uh, and I'm going to set it to 32-bit float, so it's a high dynamic range rendering. We're going to use the OpenGL renderer. Now, a lot of artists think OpenGL rendering are for previews. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a final production quality render. So to begin with, first off, I want some depth of field. So I'm going to enable accumulation effects. And I've set that to eight samples. Let's see how fast that renders. So I'm at 1280 HD. I hit play. And that's going to play back pretty much at five frames a second. Now, I'm going to go ahead on the renderer. And I'm going to add super sampling, which will now take this and render it at, we're at a super sampling rate of two. Let's make it four. It will now render this four times larger. So instead of 1280, it's going to be uh, almost 5K, 5,000 pixels wide. And then we scale it down. And this is going to give us better edges. So we get better anti-aliasing on the edges. How long does that take to render? Each frame is coming in now at around 9.6 seconds a frame. If I were to do this in a 3D software renderer, then it could take significantly longer. It's www.ionline.com. That's E-Y-E-O-N-L-I-N-E.com. مشاهدي ايتك عبر قناه الحره نتوقف لفاصل قصير من ثم نتابع التغطيه الخاصه والحصريه بايتك للاسبوع الثالث على التوالي لمعرض سيجراف 2009 المتخصص بتقنيات تصميم الرسومات من هنا من نيو اورلينز تقنيه جديده اكس 3 دي على الانترنت تحريك بالنقاط للاجسام المرسومه تشاهدون اي تك عبر الحره والحره دوت كوم ويوتيوب دوت كوم سلاش الحره وتابعوا اخر اخبار اي تك على فيسبوك وتويتر من خلال اي تك شو تشاهدون اي تك عبر الحره والحره دوت كوم ويوتيوب دوت كوم سلاش الحره وتابعوا اخر اخبار اي تك على فيسبوك وتويتر من خلال اي تك شو بعد هذا الفاصل المشاهدي اتاك عبر قناة الحرة نتابع التغطية الخاصة وحصرية باي تاك لمعرض سي جراف 2009 للاسبوع الثالث على التوالي من هنا من نيو اورلينز بولاية لويزيانا. تقنية جديدة اكس 3 دي على الانترنت. تحريك بالنقاط للاجسام المرسومة. اكس 3 دي هي تقنية جديدة لحلول ثلاثية الابعاد على شبكة الانترنت. تقنية اكس 3 دي ايضا تستخدم في الاجهزة المحمولة والهواتف كالايفون. الشركة الالمانية فرانهوفر اي جي دي قدمت هنا في سيجراف 2009 
برنامج جديد يعتمد على اكس 3 دي تكنولوجي وهو انستنت رياليتي X3D is an open standard and within this standard you can describe not only 3D geometry but you can describe also logic of 3D um, applications. Instant Reality is a player that realizes this complete standard. So you can use X3D to describe your application and then you can realize very complex virtual reality applications you can drive caves or power walls, or you can also dis develop augmented reality applications on small-scale and handheld devices. You can control the application by simply touching the touch screen, and now you can use different interaction paradigms to navigate through this complex 3D world. And here, by triggering an event, you can select a mission and start the mission and you can trigger also the videos that are linked to that application. Here I have a complex 3D scene integrating also video data and uh, you can navigate easily in real time through that 3D world and here you can trigger the different components showing the product portfolio of EADS. The handheld is now uh, the same software system that is uh, used on the handheld system and it's used for augmented reality. And here you should imagine you're walking through ancient Rome and you're looking at the temples and the artifacts in ancient Rome. And now using the integrated camera we are capturing this environment and in superimposition you're receiving the information related to these artifacts. So we are bringing the application to the iPhone and we, here we have Instant Mini. So here we have an X3D rendering which is embedded and downscaled so that it can be used on a, uh, on a mobile device. تحريك الأجسام المرسومة بالأبعاد الثلاث في الأفلام والألعاب الإلكترونية يعتمد على عدة طرق منها التقاط نقاط في وجه أو جسم الإنسان موصولة بحساسات أو سنسرز أرينا إكسبرشنز هو برنامج من ناتشورال بوينت يعتمد على نقاط في الوجه فيشل موشن كابتشر فلنتعرف عليه Natural Point does optical motion capture technology, and that's a creation of cameras, high-speed tracking cameras and software to do motion capture for films, games, pre-visualization, and interactivity. Mm -hmm. This year we're featuring what's called uh, frame overlay technology, and it's where we can composite um, the motion captured image directly over regular video, which is excellent in use for editing, uh, checking to make sure your motion capture setup is good, and your skeleton setups are, are working well. This is facial motion capture. This is a specific application of motion capture technology. You'll see we have our small cameras, high-speed infrared cameras, and they're tracking the reflective markers that are on her face. Those markers on her face act as reference points, and the reference points tracked by the cameras and that creates the animation. So you'll see the whole chain here. She moves her face, she does stuff, and the, and the character will respond. This is uh, real time, so this isn't um, what you would call, use for movies. This is more what you would use for games or getting a rough idea of how things are working out. And then you can record it and refine the motion capture in the post process. Uh, these run at 100 frames per second and they can track many, many, many markers, basically as many as you want. And you can arrange them in configurations up to 24 cameras. So you can track an area, say, 20 feet by 20 feet with a couple of actors. Uh, you can get interactivity, sword fights, things that um, allow people to do realistic motion much faster than if they were animating it by hand. The way that it works is based on the principle of retroreflectivity, and what we have is the camera, and it has a ring light, so it has light emitting from the camera, and it reflects off of the small 
little spheres on her face, that's actually little glass beads. The light enters the glass bead, turns around, comes back out, and goes into the camera. And then you'll end up with a bright image. So as you can see on the video, the markers are lit up and illuminated, and then the camera can track those illuminated markers. It can distinguish them from the background. You have multiple cameras because you need to triangulate the points. So two cameras can find one point, triangulate it, and know where it is in 3D. That gives you 3D points. Those 3D points are then used to help deform the face and give you the motion capture data that, that you would actually see as an end product. We are motioncapture.com, so www.motioncapture.com. في الأسبوع الثالث للتغطية الخاصة والحصرية بأيتاك لمعرض سي جراف 2009 من نيو أورلينز شاهدنا معنا اليوم صور تشريح الجسم البشري صور متحركة ثلاثية الأبعاد فورية جديد المؤثرات البصرية تقنية جديدة X3D على الانترنت تحريك بالنقاط للأجسام المرسومة إلى هنا مشاهدي أيتاك عبر قناة الحرنات إلى ختام الأسبوع الثالث على التوالي من التغطية الخاصة والحصرية بأيتاك لمعرض سي جراف 2009 المتخصص بتقنية تصميم الرسومات جرافيكس ديزاين من هنا من مدينة نيو أورلينز بولاية لويزيانا الأسبوع المقبل ولضخامة الحدث نلتقي أيضا للمرة الرابعة والأخيرة مع تقارير ولقاءات جديدة إلى ذلك الحين نتواصل دائما عبر بريدنا الإلكتروني ايتاك ات الحرة دوت كوم يمكن مشاهدة هذه الحلقة وحلقات أخرى من ايتاك في أي وقت على موقع القناة www.الحرة دوت كوم وعلى يوتيوب دوت كوم سلاش الحرة ويمكن متابعة ايتاك شو من خلال فيسبوك وتويتر أنا توفيق جبران شكرا لكم جميعا وإلى اللقاء